Hello, uh, this is Larry with Robisette Middle Buildings, and we're going to do a video on uh, using all the bays in the sidewall of your building, or like below the gutter, basically. So let's log in, and let's go ahead and get a building quote. And in order for you to do this, you really need to be in advanced mode. So you go up here to you go up here to setup, and then you'd be uh, you got simple and advanced. You have to just make sure you're in advanced mode. And you go next and let's go sidewalls and we'll put in a zip code and I think we'll still stay with the uh, the basic building and we want to fill up all the bays on the sidewall here uh, with openings and our system is preset to not allow that because basically one of the bays uh, has to be braced uh, let's do uh, 88 Let's do 14 and 2, um, so that uh, when you try to put uh, use up all for either windows or doors, when you try to use up all the bays, our system will just simply not allow it unless you have the correct bracing. So uh, let me show you how that works. And again, with every video, you have to make absolutely sure that these are the loads and codes to, that you need for that particular building site. And it's absolutely critical. That's why we have the agree and accept button. Okay. Um, and it looks like it has 23 foot bays, which is actually perfect. Um, so we're focusing on the sidewall in this video. And again, you could do bay, you could do bay layout. You could have specific bay layout by just simply typing it here, or you could have more bays if you want to. But I think let's just go with what they have here. And also, interestingly, do you notice here that this is 21 and then 23, 23, and 21? Our system purposely makes the end bays a little bit shorter because of the uh, the newer IBC code uh, has corner zone wind a little uh, more pressure or higher on this bay than on this bay. So that's why we do that. But let's go ahead and do bracing. And on the sidewall, we offer a uh, cable rod, obviously, but we also or offer portal frame. And a portal frame is simply a main frame um, that goes sideways or perpendicular to the other frames. Um, and I'll, I'll do one on each wall so that you know what it is. Uh, like if you lined up your dominoes in a row, but you stuck one domino perpendicular to the others, that's what it would be like for a, a portal frame. And a wind column is simply uh, a column that is next to the frame that's basically dependent on a sizable amount of concrete keeping it perpendicular. And so that's basically what keeps your frame up. So in this case, let's go ahead and do portal frame. And let's go ahead and do it in bay two. And so you see here that I'm putting a frame in this opening. Well, the beauty of that is, is uh, now I can go ahead and, and uh, throw in openings. Yeah, let's do a little one here. And, oops. Let's throw that one in there and then go over here. And we'll throw another one in and we'll do it way over there. Okay, we'll call that one done. Okay, now I'm gonna come over to the other side. And I obviously I have to leave the bay layout um, because of the other wall that I already set. But let's go ahead and do a uh, wind column and let's go ahead and do one right there. So basically your wind column is just a column on the frame. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll come over here, we'll just throw more openings in. And, and we'll throw one in there too. So let's do a 10 by 12. Okay, so if we're done here, whoops, gotta be done on that wall. So you could see here that we uh, basically put openings all over the place on the sidewall, but we are able to fill them all in because of the bracing we used. So let's go ahead and go next. And obviously advanced options is only available if, you, if you're if you clicked into advanced options, which is right here. Uh, so let's go ahead and go next. And this will take, gosh, a minute or two to grind, which seems forever, uh, but you just really need to be patient until this continue button comes up. <laughs> Okay, and we're back. Uh, the continue button uh, came back on, so uh, as usual, we'll throw a walk door in so it's not a manhole building. Uh, we'll throw some gutters on, 
And then let's go colored roof, and here's the amount that it would take for that size building. Uh, let's do it red. Okay, uh, then we'll go next. And here's the quote form, and again, here's the loads and codes to confirm. And here is the building only price uh, delivered to that zip code with two sets of engineer plans for your state. And here is the accumulation of the accessories that we put on the deposit amount and the full amount there. But you can see here that it worked great. Um, here is the portal frame perpendicular to the other frames. And there is the wind column right there. But in doing that bracing, uh, it allowed us to fill all the openings in the sidewalls. Um, and then if you want to continue, you could print out plans in uh, um, picture format, or if you continue uh, some more on the right side here, uh, you'll be able to print them out in PDF. Uh, so this is Larry with Rapid Set Buildings, and uh, thanks for listening.